So, unfortunately, Portugal is once again burning and we are kind of used to it, to, to have wildfires every year. We had even one prime minister that used the expression, the season of the wildfires is here. So like official season, open the season of the wildfires, something like this, some idiot statement like this. Uh, and uh, this time, the last big ones, sometimes they are tragic ones, and this again is a year of tragic wildfires. When I mean tragic is they, they burn more than usual, they burn houses, they kill people. And we had a tragedy in 2017, and this year is again a year of tragedy. Uh, and what I wanted to point out about this is two things. First of all, I don't think the political power in Portugal is very interested in, uh, interested in protecting its forests. Otherwise, because this happens every year, a more efficient or a more efficient system would have been put in place. Uh, I remember when the Russians used to send us airplanes to help to fight with the fires and they sent us, I think they were bought by us, uh, a dozen, half a dozen of K-25 Camo helicopters of model K-25 to, to fight the fires. These helicopters were given to Ukraine in 2022. And you know that uh, I, every time I mention this to people, they say, oh yeah, but they gave those because they were not flying anymore. They were not in condition of flying or flight. It was just, they were good for the scrapyard and so on and so on. Yeah, that's true. Portugal, actually, every equipment it has given to Ukraine its scrapyard quality equipment. They have to go somewhere else to be refurbished and then they can arrive their final destination. But that's not the point. I mean, this is Portuguese management. The point is that this kind of fires, because they occur in, uh, in places where the geography of the territory is very difficult for uh, the land forces, the, the, the firemen using uh, cars and with hoses and, you know, land forces. It's very inaccessible in this in these regions. It's very hard for them to surround and, uh, and uh, extinguish the fire. So the best way is to have a lot Combat ready, and I mean combat is to firefighting, of course. A lot combat ready aerial means. Well, we had six less helicopters because we gave them to Ukraine. And the excuse they give now, it's the one I just mentioned. It's because, oh, they were not, they were just, they were not in shape. They had no license to fly anymore. And why was that? That is simply because sanctions on Russia. Sanctions on Russia made it impossible to get spare parts for these helicopters, rendering them useless. So sanctions actually work, right? Not in the way we intend, maybe. But it's it's uh, it's it's really it's madness the way policy is being conducted in the European Union countries. Uh, it looks like nothing else matters besides Ukraine, and even Ukraine doesn't matter because all these measures do not help Ukraine. And 
everyone is going down the economies are going down every every country is shooting themselves in the foot giving their arsenals giving their stockpiles to burn in ukraine more people are dying every day and who is sitting and laughing all of this the united states our glorious ally and but the apathy what is more astonishing is that the apathy of the people in general even of political parties that traditional traditionally have the majority they all embark on this i mean the only the only uh, political party in portugal that seems to me that is still sane because it's insanity what's going on and the way they talk and the arguments they use ignoring reality it's still saying it's the portuguese communist party the one they keep accusing of being old-fashioned and no it's it's the only the only one who, <laughs> who points at the obvious and says you can't do this because of a b and c the others are just running after the votes running after popularity running after momentary popularity saying all kinds of bullshit they can say and then of course they do not follow suit they do not follow through they do not deliver that's what i mean i'm sorry this is uh, i just finished shift I'm going to hit the bed now vocabulary and grammar is not the best exercise for this hour of the morning but i had to talk about this because this is subject of the day right so in the meantime, skies of Portugal are covered with smoke and valuable forest is burning, animals are dying, habitats destroyed, lives destroyed, firemen have been killed, people have been killed. I mean, it's, it's tragic. And the kind of governance that we have it makes me nauseous, to be honest with you. This, it's a bunch of bootlickers, hocksuckers, and they have, it, it seems to me that they have everything in mind except the well-being of the people they are supposed to govern. People of the country they are supposed to govern. It's, uh, People keep voting on the same shit and because the same shit doesn't produce any results then they bring out other kind of shit but it's still shit which is this new right-wing populism called Chega and IL liberal initiative it's still shit it's more of the same but uh, with a different coating really uh, it is it is hard it is hard to watch all this and I mean if the masses do not realize the shit that is going on and do not get together people do not organize this shit will will go on as always of course then you have the arguments concerning wildfires the first the first comment I hear the first comment it's simple just increase the the penalties some people even claim their uh, perpetual uh, prison <laughs> prison for life or death death penalty to the people that uh, start the fires and I, I when i hear this i immediately think oh, this is uh, we're living in Orwellian society for sure I don't know when the transition ended but it started maybe in the 80s and it's I think it's, it's finishing it's arriving completion now to Orwellian society because what do you think let me know in the comments of course it is a crime crimes should be punished no doubt about it but if that's the best you have fight this problem you'll never 
it, it's like nothing. It's like it, nothing will happen. Fires will keep existing and we will pack prisons with, with people, normally poor people. People that, by the history, for reasons of history of their lives, they didn't get it better. They ended up doing that shit. Right? So it's a structural problem, in my opinion. It's the same as if you have criminality, just put more cops, be more violent, increase the penalty, and that will solve. Forget about solving the income inequality problems. Forget about wealth distribution. Forget about building your infrastructure. Develop your society along with the economy. Using the economy to develop the society. Forget about that. Just punish people, kill them and put them in prison. We see where that leads. To nowhere. The problem that we start fighting doesn't get solved. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm going to make this one a short one. And I hope I see you on the next one.